Once your corn crop gets started, let's say it's about six inches, foot tall, maybe two feet tall, you may see some yellow tops in your cornfield. Well, what a lot of people will call that is fast growth syndrome, and they'll think, oh, no big deal, and you get advice like, your crop will grow out of it. Yeah, it will, but you've already lost yield. So here's what we want you to do when you see fast growth syndrome this year. Do some plant tissue analysis and compare the plants that are super green versus the ones that have yellow tops. Our assumption is you're going to find the same thing that we have. It's a nutrient deficiency. It's probably sulfur or one of the micronutrients. All right, I started off the show by teasing Brian that I love fast growth in corn, and I really do, if you've got the nutrients there to feed it. So we've got to deal with these issues as they pop up. When you see that out in your field, don't just think, well, that's a one-year problem. No, you're going to see that year after year after year in that field. Now, you may see some differences between hybrids, and I hear this often that, well, I only saw it in the one hybrid, didn't see it in the other, so I'm just going to switch hybrids, that'll solve my problem. Not necessarily. We do see differences between hybrids in the amount of nutrients that they need at various stages, that varies slightly, and also the root system and the amount of nutrients they're able to bring in. So to me, I would focus on, hey, let's get well-developed roots. Let's find crops that can take those nutrients and push them into our plant quickly, but we can't run short. And if you see that you're running short, you gotta fix it. All right, so a lot of times when you see yellow corn, you're probably thinking nitrogen. Well, don't forget with nitrogen, that's actually mobile in the plant. So in other words, where are the yellow leaves going to be? They're gonna be at the bottom of the plant, not at the top, because the plant can rob it for the new growth. Same thing with potassium. You can see yellowing in the lower leaves, you're not gonna see it on the top. I mean, unless the whole plant was yellow and then you get a disaster. So again, it's going to be sulfur or the micronutrients. And a lot of people will say, oh, I can look at it and tell if it's sulfur deficiency. Look, I've been around for a long time, and I've been in a lot of fields, and I have a difficult time telling. Even if you don't see this deficiency going on in your crop, you may still have it. It's like many other problems on the farm. They don't always show themselves visually. They may be happening inside the plant, and it's only when it gets to be an extreme deficiency or a really extreme problem that you'll see the visual symptomology. So you're not off the hook if you say, well, I don't see any of that out on my farm. You still need to get out and do some plant tissue testing. See that you're getting the nutrients that you've put on the soil into your plant, or see if those nutrients that you think are out in your soil are actually out there and able to get in to help your crop. So today we've been talking about yellow tops in corn. It's often called fast growth syndrome. Do not listen to people who are going to tell you, oh, the plant will just grow out of it. Yeah, it will, but you've already probably lost 50 bushels of yield. That's not a good thing. So at least be tissue sampling, find out what the problem is, start to get it corrected. You can put on some foliar feed this year, but really get your soil fertility program adjusted going forward so you don't see yellow tops and you don't see that nutrient deficiency. One other thing you don't want to see is a tough yield robber like our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to stop this weed later in the show. <music>